Mary Keenbaum with Kimley Haygood here with a brief 2022 commercial market update for Kootenai County. 2022 in Kootenai County saw low vacancy across all sectors, including office, retail, and industrial. Where a vacancy of 5 to 6% was previously a healthy range, we saw much lower in the effects of COVID. Some users recognize the benefits of population growth in Kootenai County. Some seek a state with more certainty to stay open for business. Some just recognize the beauty of North Idaho and see a path to move away from larger cities. Pre-COVID office rates sat near 5% vacancy, which is a healthy range. In 2021, office vacancy dropped to 2.4% as we see users moving into our market. In 2022, we saw 4.5% vacancy reported. However, in looking at the numbers further, two of those properties have been absorbed, larger properties have been absorbed now we're looking at 1.95% vacancy in the office sector. Much like office, pre-COVID retail rates sat around 5% vacancy in Kootenai County and dropped to 3.1% for retail in 2021. In 2022, we're sitting at 2.8% vacancy, suggesting a continued pattern moving forward. Industrial rates in Kootenai County have previously and historically been very low but we saw that to an extreme during COVID. In 2021, we sat at 1.1% vacancy, and now we're at 0.8% vacancy in industrial. These factors have really limited our inventory in the market. And so we're really looking at higher rates across the board in the past couple of years in industrial. Whether the space is a small space or a large space and many spec buildings, are being pre-leased prior to delivery. North Idaho continues to see issues with supply and demand, leading to higher rates on the market, which I don't expect to drop to pre-COVID rates moving forward. We're seeing strong positive absorption, meaning more space is being leased on the market than be is being vacated across all sectors. Construction costs and land acquisition costs remain high. And in the past six to eight months, we've seen an uncertainty of interest rates, which have affected our market to some extent but we're still seeing very limited inventory. The spring months of 2023 have brought more seasonal activity in the market than we've seen from November to February of this last year. Activity has picked up in the past couple months, leading me to believe we will continue to see limited inventory, but overall, we will see a more normalized market than we've seen in 2020, 2021, and in 2022. Thank you.